Hey, what's happening guys? Just a quickie today. Uh, we've been talking about inductors and I just basically touched on toroid. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. First, let's clear something up here. There's no script to this channel. I get an idea for an episode and it kind of just flows. So yes, I make mistakes. I say Millie when I meant micro or Pico when I meant nano. Look at what I have written down. Look at what the meter shows. Sorry, sometimes there's a slip of the tongue. Not much I can do about it. This isn't going to turn into a scripted show. Anyway, so we're talking about inductors being a coil, a coil of wire that holds an electric charge in a magnetic field. And then we talked about adding a core to it to increase the amount of charge it can store. And that, in this case, that core is called a toroid. And they are available in many sizes. But not only sizes, they're available in different materials. So one of the, that's what I want to talk about today is toroids, sizes, and the like. And we're going to hit this quick. It's been a rough day. Um, first of all, they come in like size like uh, T100-2, T200-1, you know, stuff like that. All right, the first number, the T number, is the diameter in tenths of an inch. So if we look here, I don't know how well you can see that, but uh, that's one inch. So this would be a T100, and I am not sure of the particular material. I believe this is probably just a plain old ferrite. Then we have a larger one like this one. This is an inch and a half, so that would be like a T1500. Then we have tiny small ones. That's a quarter of an inch. So that would be what? Uh, this is a, a FS1302. Now, the second number being the, the composition of materials, you can get a lot of materials in them. Like I said, we basically have the plain ferrite core, but we also have powder core products like what's called Cool Mu and Molly Paraloy, High Flux, Cool Max. And the reason you have the different materials is that they behave different ways with different frequencies. So we are going to wind an auto transformer in probably tomorrow's video. And I'm probably going to use this uh, T1500. Actually, this is a 1020 by 32, yeah, T1500. And we're going to wind it in what's called a trifilier pattern. Trifilier, oh boy, can't talk today. Trifilier pattern. It's going to be a 9 to 1 auto transformer. And we're going to use this one because it is a number two composition, which is good at higher frequencies, up to about 30 megahertz, maybe up to about 50 megahertz. I'd have to check to be absolutely sure. But that's all I wanted to talk about today was a quickie about toroid sizes, how to, how to order them, how to read the numbers. So I hope you guys liked this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. That's it. I'm out. Peace.